The last 1,000 years in the history of Hawaii. Table of Contents, Hawaii Part 2. All about the last 1,000 years in the history of Hawaii. How did plants, animals, and people come to such an isolated and remote spot as Hawaii? The early history of Hawaii up to the end of the Hawaiian monarchy. Dr. Sidney Soclough. Dr. Sidney22 at gmail.com. 2023. Narration by Dr. Sidney Soclough. Zoe Phonemes. And Nathan Cole Tove. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.one slash YT Navigator. The last 1,000 years in the history of Hawaii. Hawaii. Hawaii was characterized by Mark Twain as the loveliest fleet of islands that lies anchored in any ocean. How did people and plants get to Hawaii? Hawaii is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean further from any continent or large land mass than any other place on Earth. It is indeed one of the most isolated places on Earth. This is the Hawaiian archipelago that extends some 1,518 miles or 2,436 kilometers from the Big Island of Hawaii to Kure Island, just west of Midway Island. The state of Hawaii is comprised of the eight principal islands at the southeastern end of the Hawaiian archipelago. We should distinguish between the island of Hawaii or Big Island, the state of Hawaii, and the entire Hawaiian islands or archipelago. Here are the seven largest Hawaiian islands, Hawaii, Maui, Lanai, Molokai, Oahu, and Kuwani. The distance between Hilo on the Big Island of Hawaii and Lee, Hui on Kuwai is 315 miles or 507 kilometers. The total land area of the state of Hawaii is 11,000 square miles or 28,000 square kilometers. That is just a little bit larger than Massachusetts. The capital, and by far the largest city, is Honolulu on the island of Oahu. Honolulu is 2,400 miles, or 3,850 kilometers from the U.S. mainland at San Francisco. Honolulu is 3,860 miles, or 6,200 kilometers from Tokyo, and 5,293 miles, 8,516 kilometers from Manila in the Philippines to the west, and 4,300 miles, or 6,915 kilometers from Port Moresby in New Guinea. How did plants get to Hawaii? The ocean waters are warmed by the sun. Water evaporates from the ocean. As the water vaporizes in the atmosphere, it cools and condenses into tiny water droplets forming clouds. Under the influence of onshore winds, the clouds are forced higher up the slopes of the volcanic mountains. This is known as orographic uplift. As the clouds rise up higher the water droplets condense and fall as rain. As the clouds rise, the water droplets condense and fall as rain. The rain and volcanic gases cause the lava to decompose and form rich volcanic soil. Birds fly over carrying seeds. Seeds are also carried by the winds and ocean currents. The birds drop the seeds on the islands. Plants start to grow on the rich volcanic soil. How did people get to Hawaii? The closest islands to Hawaii are the islands of Polynesia. Bounded by the Polynesian Triangle, 
with Hawaii at one corner, New Zealand at another corner, and Easter Island at the third corner. This triangle has sides of about 4,000 miles or 6,500 kilometers in extent. Polynesia is from the Greek words poly meaning many and nessus meaning islands, and is a large grouping of over 1,000 islands scattered over the central and southern Pacific Ocean. Polynesia is generally defined as the islands within the triangle. This shows some of the main island groups in Polynesia, such as Fiji, Samoa, Tonga, Tahiti, Easter Island, and the Marquesas. The peoples of this vast region speak closely related languages developed from a single mother tongue. Polynesians also share fundamentally similar cultural traditions, arts, religion, and sciences. These are some of the major island groups in Polynesia. It is thought that the migration path of people was from Asia down through the Philippine Islands, New Guinea, and the Solomon Islands, and then further into the many islands of Polynesia, including Hawaii. The distances hail immense. And this migration happened over a period of thousands of years. According to the theory, from the Marquesas, the migration went to the Easter Islands and the coast of what is present-day Mexico and Hawaii in about the year 300 AD. These epic voyages of the Polynesians took place over these immense distances without the aid of any navigational instruments. Only by looking at the sea and sky. It is even more amazing when we consider the small size of most of the islands compared to the vastness of the sea. At a time when western boats rarely went out of sight of land, they often traveled long distances on fleets of carefully crafted canoes that could withstand the harsh Pacific weather. The Polynesians used the stars, the movements of ocean currents and wave patterns, the air and sea interference patterns caused by islands and atolls, the flight of birds, the winds, and the weather. The Polynesians used double-held canoes to carry themselves and their animals, plants, and with the provisions. The Polynesians were the first people to develop navigating by the stars into fine art. They used a 32-point polaris, also called a dummy compass, which they probably adopted from the Arabs before they colonized the Pacific from India. The polaris was marked for stars that rose and set at nearly equally spaced points on the horizon. The Polynesians imagined the heavens as the interior of a dome where a star proceeded along a path that passed over certain islands. They knew over 150 stars. Each star was given a name and it was known where and when it rose and set, as well as which islands it passed over. Thus, Polynesian navigators were able to sail toward the still they knew to be of the destination temporarily and as it moved westward with time. They would then steer towards the succeeding still which would have then moved over the target island. The Polynesians, with the Polaris and their impressive knowledge, were able to follow the shortest route over thousands of miles without any further instrumentation or charts. As they steered for such a star, they were following the great circle to their destination. This method is in principle more perfect than compass navigation. The Polynesians also used wave and swell formations to navigate. Many of the habitable areas of the Pacific Ocean are groups, or chains, of islands, or atolls, in long chains, hundreds of miles long. These chains have predictable effects on ocean waves and on currents that follow ocean trenches. They learned the effect various islands had on their shape, direction, and motion and were able to recognize them as landmarks. This was important as the depth of the Pacific made soundings useless.
The Polynesians also were able to locate islands by certain cloud formations as well as the reflections shallow water made on the undersides of clouds. Since the Polynesians did not draw charts, they had no words for absolute measures of distance. Instead, they measured the time it took to sail between the islands in canoe days. It is believed that the first Polynesians arrived in Hawaii in the 3rd century from the Marquesas, followed by Tahitian settlers in 1300 who conquered and eliminated the original inhabitants. The Polynesians brought along with them clothing, plants, and livestock and established settlements along the coasts and larger valleys. The early Hawaiians lacked a written language, and their culture was entirely oral and rich in myth, legend, and practical knowledge, especially of animals and plant life. The lack of metal, pottery, or beasts of burden hampered the material life of the islands. But there was great skill in the use of wood, shell, stone, and bone, and the huge double and outrig can use we technical marvels. The Hawaiian language takes its name from Hawaii, the largest island in the tropical North Pacific archipelago where it developed. Hawaiian, along with English, is an official language of the state of Hawaii. King Kamehameha III established the first Hawaiian language constitutions in 1839 and 1840. King Kamehameha III established the first Hawaiian language constitutions in 1839 and 1840. The number of native speakers of Hawaiian gradually decreased during the period from the 1830s to the 1950s. Hawaiian was essentially displaced by English on six of the seven inhabited islands. As of 2000, native speakers of Hawaiian amount to less than 0.1% of the statewide population. Linguists are worried about the fate of this and other endangered languages. The Hawaiian language has offered many words to the English language. And many Hawaiian words are known to non-Hawaiian speakers. And many have also been assimilated into the English language. Here are some English words of Hawaiian origin. Here are more English words of Hawaiian origin. Here are more English words of Hawaiian origin. Here are more English words of Hawaiian origin. It was the Polynesians who gave the islands the name Hawaii. Captain Cook and European Contact On his third voyage of discovery in 1778, Captain James Cook of Great Britain visited the Hawaiian Islands and named them the Sandwich Islands in honor of his friend and supporter, John Montague. The fourth Earl of Sandwich and first Lord of the Admiralty. Though Cook found Hawaii an excellent reprovisioning stop, it is not likely this included sandwiches. The word sandwich that we use today was born in London during the late hours one night in 1762, when an English nobleman, John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich, 1718 to 1792, was too busy gambling to stop for a meal even though he was hungry for some food. The legend goes that he ordered a waiter to bring him roast beef between two slices of bread. The Earl was able to continue his gambling while eating his snack. From that incident, we have inherited the quick food product that we now know as the sandwich. Merchants and whalers start to arrive in the period 1778 to 1820. Captain George Vancouver introduced livestock to the Hawaiian Islands in 1792. In 1810, King Kamehameha I, also known as Kamehameha the Great, conquered and united all the Hawaiian Islands into one kingdom under his rule. 
King Kamehameha I was born on the Kana coast of the Big Island. He first conquered the Atha kings on that island and then went on to defeat the kings of all the Atha islands. King Kamehameha I then named his Anta Kingdom Hawaii. After his home island of Hawaii, he established the House of Kamehameha, a dynasty that ruled over the kingdom until 1872. In 1813, the first pineapple plants we introduced from Spain. The flag of the Kingdom of Hawaii was designed at the request of King Kamehameha I in 1816. It has eight stripes of white, red, and blue that represent the eight main islands. The flag of Great Britain is emblazoned in the upper left corner to honor Hawaii's friendship with the British. The combination of the stripes of the United States flag and the Union Jack of Great Britain is said to have pleased the merchant shippers of both nations. The flag was adopted for official state use in 1959. In 1819, Kamehameha I died, and Prince Lihaliho ascended the throne as Kamehameha II. King Kamehameha II abandoned many of the ancient taboos including that of eating with women. As early as 1820, the missionaries from New England started arriving in Hawaii. The purpose of coming to Hawaii was to spread Christianity, set up schools and churches. The first church in the Hawaiian Islands was established in Kona on the Big Island in 1820. This is the first church, the Makuaika Church in Kona. Erected in 1836, this building dates from 1836 and replaces an earlier wooden structure. Fifteen companies of New England missionaries arrived. By the middle of the century, there were frame houses, horse-drawn vehicles, schools, churches, taverns, and mercantile establishments. A written language was introduced and European and American skills and religious beliefs, both Protestant and Roman Catholic, were imported. Hawaiian culture was thus irrevocably changed. In 1824, Kamehameha II died, and Kamehameha III became king. In 1840, the first Hawaii constitution of the kingdom was established. In 1848, the Great Mahale was signed by King Kamehameha III, which allowed commoners and haoles to own land outright or in fee simple. This is a concept that continues today. In 1854, Kamehameha III died, and Kamehameha IV became king. In 1863, Kamehameha IV died, and Kamehameha V became king. In 1872, William Charles Lunalillo, a minor member of the House of Kamehameha, was elected King of Hawaii upon the death of his cousin, Kamehameha V. David Kalakua'a was elected King in 1874 after King Lunalillo died. Hawaii Ponoi was composed by King David Kalakua'a in 1876, honoring King Kamehameha I. The founder of the Hawaiian Kingdom in 1810. Hawaii Pono'i served as the national anthem of the kingdom and the territory of Hawaii from 1876 to 1893, until the overthrow of the royalty and the annexation of Hawaii by the United States government in 1967. The legislature declared it as the official song of Hawaii. These are some of the lyrics of Hawaii Pono'i, the official song of Hawaii. Hawaii Ponoi Nana Ikomoi Kalani Ali Ke Ali Makua Kameha, Mehae, 
Some of the lyrics of Hawaii Ponoe, the official song of Hawaii. Recommended video, USA State Song, Hawaii, Hawaii Ponoe. Iolani Palace was built by King Kalakaua in 1882. Starting with King David Kalakaua, the Iolani Palace was the official residence of the Hawaiian kings and queens. Iolani Palace is the only royal palace used as an official residence by a reigning monarch in the United States, and as such was declared a national historic landmark. Liliuokalani became queen in 1891 after King Kalakaua died. This is a postage stamp honoring Queen Liliuokalani, issued by the Kingdom of Hawaii. In 1893, Queen Liliuokalani tried to replace the constitution forced on her predecessor in 1887. This led to a revolution. A group of residents, mostly Americans who had become prominent in the Hawaiian economy, engineered the overthrow of the monarchy. In 1894, the Hawaiian Republic was established and Sanford Ballard Dole became president. Queen Liliuokalani was forced to abdicate her throne in 1895. Washington Place in Honolulu, near the state capitol building, is the last residence of Queen Liliuokalani. And where she died in 1917 at the age of 79. Aloha we farewell to the is Lili Uokalani's most famous song and one of Hawaii's most beloved songs. Aloha Oui was inspired by a horseback trip token by Queen Lili Uokalani in 1877. She saw a farewell embrace, and a tune came to her. She then composed the words when she returned home. These are some of the lyrics of Aloha Oui. The lyrics of Aloha Oui. These are more of the lyrics of Aloha Oui. Recommended video, Aloha Oui. This is Queen Lilia Okalani, the last ruling monarch of the Kingdom of Hawaii. Hawaii Timeline Circa 300. The first Polynesians came to Hawaii. In 1778, Captain James Cook discovered Hawaii. In 1810, the Hawaiian Islands were united under King Kamehameha I. In 1820, the first missionaries came to Hawaii. In 1895, Queen Liliuokalani was forced to abdicate. The Republic of Hawaii was then led by the Big Five. In 1898, 
Hawaii was annexed by the U.S. in 1941, the Pearl Harbor attack, and in 1959, the statehood of Hawaii. On July 7, 1898 Hawaii was annexed to the United States. And in 1900, Hawaii became a U.S. territory. The Hawaiian people gained greater political power than they had possessed under their kings. American institutions and influences spread throughout the islands. And the economy made rapid progress. By a treaty in 1887, Pearl Harbor on Oahu was turned over to the United States to be used as a ship coaling and repair station. In 1908, as the Navy was being upgraded, the building of a large naval base began at Pearl Harbor. At the same time, the War Department ordered the construction of Schofield Barracks, and other Army and Navy installations were expanded. December 7, 1941 The Attack on Pearl Harbor On the morning of December 7, 1941, the Imperial Japanese Navy attacked Pearl Harbor. The Japanese fleet that included six aircraft carriers under the command of Vice Admiral Chaishi Nagamo left Japan on the 26th of November 1941. This is the Japanese fleet with six aircraft carriers, 423 planes, two battleships, three cruisers, and other vessels. The Japanese fleet sailed undetected until it reached Hawaiian waters, 200 miles to the northwest of Oahu on December 7. Eight battleships of the U.S. Navy were in port in Pearl Harbor that morning forming battleship row along Ford Island. Although eight battleships were in port, the two U.S. aircraft carriers, the Enterprise and the Lexington were out on maneuvers, so escaped damage. This was to prove fortunate for later battles, such as the Battle of the Midway six months later. Japanese planes prepare to take off for the attack on Pearl Harbor. The attack on Pearl Harbor began at 7.53 on December 7. Hawaiian time. Which was December 8 in Japan. The Japanese planes attacked in two waves. In which a total of 353 planes reached Oahu. Although the U.S. Pacific Ocean Fleet at Pearl Harbor was the main target, other U.S. bases were attacked, including Hickam Field, Wheeler Field, Fort Island, and Schofield Barracks. This is the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. This is the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. This is the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. This is the radiogram reporting the Pearl Harbor attack issued by the Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Fleet minutes after the attack began. Just afternoon on December 7, at the urging of the Army's commander, Lieutenant General Short, and with the concurrence of the President of the United States, Hawaii's territorial governor Point X proclaimed martial law. Military officers moved into Iolani Palace and assumed all legislative, executive, and judicial powers. This is Roosevelt's Day of Infamy speech to Congress on December 8, 1941. On December 8, the U.S. Congress declared war on Japan. On December 11, 1941, Germany declared war on the United States. The U.S. then entered World War II against the Axis powers of Germany, Italy, and Japan. This is the USS Arizona Memorial. This is a view of the USS Arizona Memorial. This is another view of the USS Arizona Memorial. A shuttle boat takes visitors from the USS Arizona Visito Center to the USS Arizona Memorial.
This is the USS Arizona Memorial. This is a view of the USS Arizona Memorial. This is another view of the USS Arizona Memorial. This is all that remains above the water of the USS Arizona, including the oil slick. Oil still seeps from the USS Arizona after more than 70 years. The USS Missouri is near the USS Arizona Memorial. This is the World War II battleship. The USS Missouri. This is a view of the battleship. The USS Missouri. This is the signing of the surrender document on the USS Missouri, ending World War II. This is the surrender document ending World War II. This is the USS Arizona Memorial. This is a view of the USS Arizona Memorial. I took this picture upside down for a reason. The war with Japan began with the sinking of the USS Arizona, a battleship designated as BB-39. At the end of the war, things are now turned around and the surrender took place on the USS Missouri, which is BB-63. This is a plaque honoring the dead at the USS Arizona Memorial. This is a plaque honoring the dead at the USS Arizona Memorial. On August 21, 1959, Hawaii was admitted to the Union as the 50th state. This is the statehood edition of the Honolulu Star Bulletin. March 12, 1959. Hawaii Pono'i. Written by King David Kalakwa. With music by Professor Henry Berger. The Royal Bandmaster. Became the official Hawaii state song. This is a postage stamp from 1959 commemorating Hawaii statehood. This is a postage stamp from 1984 commemorating 25 years of Hawaii statehood. Question, five territories that were later incorporated into the United States were once independent republics. Can you name them? The Kingdom of Hawaii was overthrown in 1893. And the Republic of Hawaii was the formal name of the government that controlled Hawaii from 1894 to 1898. Hawaii was annexed by the U.S. in 1898. The Republic of Texas was an independent sovereign nation in North America that existed for 10 years. From 1836 to 1846. The California Republic lasted for just three weeks from June 14, 1846 when independence from Mexico was declared, until July 9th when U.S. Army troops took over. Vermont declared independence from Britain in 1777, and was an independent republic until 1791, when it joined the United States. In 1810, British settlers who remained in Florida resented Spanish rule, rebelled, and established the free and independent Republic of West Florida. This republic lasted for only 90 days. In 1983, the Kilauea volcano erupted on the Big Island. The Kilauea volcano is still erupting today, and adding land to the Big Island of Hawaii. New land is still being added to the island of Hawaii. Recommended videos. Hawaii, Part 2 Recommended Video, History Summarized, Hawaii Recommended Video, Quick History of Hawaii That was History Recommended Video, Hawaii History, Timeline, Animation Recommended video, Hawaii in the Rise of Kamahamaha. 90 minutes, 45 seconds. Recommended video, What Pre-American Hawaii Was Really Like. 11 minutes, 21 seconds. Recommended video, Queen Liliuo Kalani, the first and last queen of Hawaii. 12 minutes, 23 seconds. Recommended video, History of Hawaii.
7 minutes, 52 seconds. Recommended video, Hawaii and the Rise of Kamehameha. 76 minutes, 21 seconds. Recommended video, Polynesian Origins, DNA. Migrations and History. 12 minutes, 41 seconds. Table of Contents, Hawaii Part 2. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.